Hi, welcome to my channel, Josh Gordon Music. This is a Line 6 Pod Go video where I'm going to do a preset build from scratch for a Telecaster. So uh, it's going to be a rock-based preset, but something that can be used for blues and country guitar. So Telecaster, we got a Squire uh, 2017 Classic Vibe. We have the Line 6 Pod Go and then a Headrush 108 FRFR. Okay, so... Uh, as always, I appreciate all the views, all the subscribers, everyone is helping to build this channel to grow. I appreciate it. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Please feel free to hit that subscribe button and ring that notification bell. All right, so uh, without any further delay, let's get into it. Okay, we're gonna start our Tele build with a new preset. So obviously pick a new space on your pod go. And the default, Let's see the default. Let's go to the view. All right, US double norm as usual. Now, one thing I want to check is uh, I played a gig last night, and I know I messed with the global EQ. So let's fix that. So you hit the two uh, page buttons, global EQ. Okay, and what you can do, you can you can just tap, tap everything. Look at that. Just tap, tap. High cut, did I do any high cuts? I don't think so. I'm just gonna tap to be sure. Okay, no. Back to view. Okay, so let's hear how this sounds. Uh, Tally's gonna be on the bridge. Okay, and that's through the, you know, the head rush 108 FR, FR. Okay, so. Because I want to build more of a rock style uh, sound with this telly, I'm going to choose a different amp. So let's go to the amp selection. What will I use? You know what? Yeah. Okay, let's use an AC30. Now the volume on that's obviously quite louder. And there's a hum, so we're gonna fix that hum first. Let's scroll over to the first thing here and put the noise gate on. Okay, look at that. Okay, so that's quite loud. So we're gonna fix that amp volume. But we're first, I'm gonna take the volume pedal. I always like moving it to the end, so you hit the action button, move it, hit the action button to drop it in again. So let's check out the amp. Okay, the drive is 5.2, so I'm gonna turn the drive down. Because I wanna use this for clean as well as dirt. So you know what? Let's put it to three. Middle pickup. And neck. So we'll do a little cut, turn the treble down a bit. Um, I don't know about the presence, so um, we might adjust that when we get to, when we check out the amp and see the mics and stuff, we might be adjusting the presence. I'm going to up the bass a bit more. Now listen, when you're playing with these parameters, I mean, I, I think sometimes it's, it's good to go to extremes. Like if we turn the bass off. Here, let's hear this. Okay. And then let's roll it up to 10. Okay, definitely a difference. But, I mean, like, for example, like 5.8 to 6.3, you're probably not going to hear much of a difference. So, you know, I'll put it to 5. not too boomy on the neck okay so stick to the stick to the bridge here so that's not bad 
So let's see the others. Okay, so this amp has master at 10. So I'm gonna put the channel volume down. Now you can adjust this um, if you're recording or at a live gig. So I'm gonna leave it to 5.5. Now I find when you do make some adjustments like that, there is a difference. So some of the parameters on here, you don't hear a big difference between like, you know, a few notches. But on some you do, and channel volume is one where you do hear a difference. So I'll put it to five and a half. So it's not blasting. Sag, I'm gonna put to 6.5. And then biasing here for the tubes. I mean, I wanna make it sound more like a tube amp, so I like to put it up. Let's just say 7.5 in here. Let's put it to 6.5. I mean, you can read up on exactly what these things do, but definitely when you up the biases and the sag, I believe this makes you know the amp push more like a, a real tube amp and you know when you lower some of these things it might have like a, a tighter compression feel for you know like a maybe like a standard type of uh, heavy metal gu guitar tone now i like that i'm gonna move to the amp now let's see what we got so i'll stick with the uh the stock uh vox cab here 212 and i like that there's a ribbon mic because that kind of Heart, e eases out some of the uh, harshness of the fenders, like, like for strats and tellies, especially on the bridge. But I'm gonna put it to the 4038 ribbon mic. And I like that. I like to have the distance a little closer. Let's put three. Okay. I don't find it too boomy, but I'm gonna up the low cut. Let's put it to 100. Now if we go to the neck. I lose some of that clarity there. So I'm going to put, you know what? Let's try the 160 ribbon. Now what I'm doing a lot is using my ears. Like I have some ideas of what ribbon mics do. And I plan on reading up further on it. And, you know, and or what an SM57, we kind of, it's kind of like a standard, but there's all other kinds of mics here where, you know, you should try them out. Like just, even if you don't know what they do, you can read up on that later, but try them out and hear how they sound with the, the patch that you're trying to build. Because you might think like, uh, you know, let's go down here, like this 80, 87 condenser, what would I use that for? But what if it sounds great with your patch, right? So play around a lot with it, use your ears. I, I, I tend to find like, learn the gear yes and what the what pieces of gear you know these these effects and sims are trying to emulate and learn about the characteristics of the gear for a bit but mostly use your ears okay because just because it you know on paper or you know the, the guitar police say well you can't use that for this type of guitar well maybe you can okay use your ears <laughs> That's kind of got a good pop. Okay, but we're not building a country preset. So I like that. Early reflex reflections. Um, you know, you want to hear? That's zero. And let's, let's put it up to 100. So it kind of gives you, kind of like the, the amp quote unquote, is in a bathroom or, or something with reflective surfaces. But yeah, I'm gonna, you know what? Let's just have some fun and put it at 30. See, doesn't cause any trouble. And then the level I'm gonna leave because this is loud enough. So next for this build, I need reverb. I love reverb, maybe you don't, I do. And there's always tons of great reverbs in here. But I kind of like going to the spring, the old school. So let's do, I mean, we could do a 63 spring or just a regular spring. Let's do a 63 spring. Okay, so that's a little too much for me. Decay I like, I'm gonna put decay to five. Low cut, I'm gonna up it so it doesn't get too muddy. At least I don't think it's going to, I don't, I don't think it sounds too muddy when you up it a bit. So I'll put it there. I'll leave the high cut. Now I'm going to turn the mix down 25%. Okay, we'll leave it.
leave it at that. All right, that's one thing. Let's save our work at this point. I mean, you can save it at any point, but don't forget to save your work. Uh, now, I want some dirt, but I'm just eyeing the wah here because just this is quickly for me. Use whatever wah you like. I like, right now, colorful. So I'm going to do that, save my work. Now, I want to add some delay. Um, so do I want to put that in right now? Or do I want to see what delays options we have after we add some dirt? So, you know, this all comes down to DSP as well here, okay? Like, so, um, yeah. Okay, let's add, and uh, yeah, excuse me, if you folks, if you've been noticing this uh, piece of pink duct tape here, like uh, recently just got some tattoo work done here. And uh, at the gig last night, I was starting to sweat, and this, uh, this bandage was starting to... Um, Starting to uh, peel, so just the drummer had some duct tape, so I just put a little patch on there, so. <laughs> what do we do, eh? All right, let's get, uh, let's get some dirt, sorry. Oh, sorry, yeah, yeah I'm just getting sidetracked. Because I, I was just thinking, hey, do I want to put a compressor in there? Like, I'm not really a big compressor fan for a lot of stuff. I mean, I, can, I appreciate it in some of the con country stuff, you know, for that little that nice little pop and snap and crackle that you get, but I don't, we're not gonna use it here. I always start, um, sorry, yeah, I always start with a tube screamer style. So let's use the Scream 808. <laughs> okay, not too bad. Let's hear it without. So the volume, okay, the level on that is high. So I am gonna, no, we'll turn that down. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stack an overdrive because that tone's okay, but I wanna have an option for, like this could be a nice crunchy rhythm tone. Now you can use that for rock and I think even some blues. All right. So let's go to the next block and let's add, sorry. Okay, we're gonna add another dirt. And we could stack with the Minotaur, but I need something. I always uh, tend to like using the Screamer and a Boss OD. Same thing, this is pretty loud. Up that drive. So that's kind of cool. I mean, we can try a couple others here. And I'm not gonna put a distortion, I'm gonna keep it to an overdrive. Like, uh, I can try Horizon Drive. Yeah, I don't know if I like that. Valve Driver, Diana, Di sorry, Diana Drive. If you're looking for a more of a distorted t tone, we can do that. Uh, we can put the gain, let's put the gain maybe around five. Turn the tone down to like maybe four. The level. Yeah, that's too low. I find that a little too thin. Air apparent's good. Tima. Now this is definitely loud, too loud. We'll up the gain. Eight. Do I want we'll we'll do some more treble cutting. Let's put that to seven. Let's keep some bass. So let's let's put that down to four. Mm -hmm. 
Sounding a little boomy. So I like that tone. I'm going to move forward. Now let's do a delay. Okay, now we have some choices. Simple delay is great, and you got a yeah, you got a whole bunch of awesome, cool stuff. But I haven't dived into a lot of these. I usually tend to stick to the first two, like simple, or if I want some chorus thrown in there. But let's just do a simple delay, you know. And for the time, like let's hear this. Okay, see, I don't want that. I want. I usually put the delay between like five and seven hundred. Let's put it to six. Oh, sorry. Look at that. It jumped up right away. Right away there. You gotta be careful. Let's put it to six fifty. Now we're gonna fix that. Da-da. Now I'm gonna. I usually like the feedback around forty percent. Mix. I want a subtle delay, but let's put this to twenty. Scale hundred. Okay. Now that's what I like. Trails on. Oh, and you know what I should have done? For the reverb, trails on. There we go. And now we're back. Now the we haven't touched the dedicated EQ block yet, so let's use that for some tone shaping. I mean, you could set it up for a lead boost. I'm not gonna do it for some tone shaping here. Okay, we're going to. I'm gonna try and take out maybe some of the mud. So I'm gonna put. Put that down to two. I like to work in increments of 0.5 dBs. I don't want to take out too much of uh, the low end, but we'll do that. Mm, I'm not sure about the 750. You know what? Let's let's give that a little bit. And I find I would I'm missing a little bit of the high, so I'm gonna put this to one and one, and then over here would be the level. So this is where you could. <laughs> it though and let's see I mean I, I'll put it to I'll put it to six so if we turn it here okay you heard that volume blast so you see that's what I'm saying you know you could use this as a lead boost and 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 further tone shape your lead um, because maybe you just you, you like how your amp and pedals sound and you don't really feel the need to EQ it, so you could use it this way as a lead boost um, because the block's there and it's not going away. But I'm just gonna put this back to zero because I just want it for tone shaping for this one. Okay, I'm pretty happy with all this. So let's save it. Now, if I'm gonna use this, like say um, I'm in a gig situation, I'm gonna use this as my rig. Well, I want to assign some foot switches, so let's do that. So, 
let's go. Now this is how I, this is my order of how I would sign things. So I'm gonna start with the drives. I always like to start the drives at the bottom row and move to modulation and then I'll put the stuff that uh, I can't change up here. So I want to assign the Tube Screamer to, this would be foot switch four. So use your two page buttons, bypass control, and then hit four. Okay. And I'm always a paranoid guy, so I always do the save thing. Well, I'm not paranoid, but I mean, I've not saved enough some at times and lost things because maybe I'll hit the wrong button and I'll, I'll switch to, to the next preset block by mistake and I'm just forgot what I've done. Anyways, I want this for this foot switch, which would be five. So again, there, there, five. Now I think I'm gonna have, because I'm not using delay as a boost, if I was using, sorry, the, if I was using the EQ as a boost, I would have it here. Cause I like having my drives and then my boost right there. But because EQ is just gonna be left alone, I'm gonna put delay here. So I'm gonna put delay because I don't need delay all the time. So I'm gonna put that at switch six there. Now, Where's EQ? So that's, EQ's already up here. And then really it would be just the loop and the reverb. So where's the loop showing? Uh, loop is here. And then you know what? I'll put reverb as uh, switch three. Okay, so now I'm gonna save all this. And then I'm gonna hit the view button. And there you go. of options there but that is um you know it'll be like a basic telly rock blues preset i mean maybe you can even use it for pop you know you never know i mean maybe you, you could change that simple delay to the um the chorus echo one um or you know uh, and, and there's lots of options, but this is like for a quick preset build with the telly and you wanted kind of like a rock and blue sound in mind, great. And you could probably, let's let's flick this here to the in-between position. You could probably even still use this for country. See, because it's got a nice little uh, chicken pick and pop to it with your fingers. And the Vox style amp helps with that, and you don't need a compressor. Um, anyways, that's my preset build, and um, hope you liked it. Thanks.